Genesis chapter 8 uh, and verse 15. Now, you know, you've probably heard of the story of Noah's flood. You know, the flood was upon the whole earth. It was because of the judgment of God had come. Because God was fed up with mankind's wickedness. And with the violence that was in the earth, the violence filled the earth. And God was fed up with it, so he asked at earth, there might be protection for those who would believe God. And those who would go into the ark. I want to read when uh, God spoke unto Noah, verse 15 of Genesis chapter 8. The flood was over and he said, Go forth of the ark, in other words, go out of the ark, thou and thy wife and thy sons and thy sons' wives with thee. And bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee of all flesh, both of fowl and of cattle, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth, and be fruitful, and multiply upon the earth. And Noah went forth, see that he's obedient to the call of God. Noah went forth, and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him, every beast, every creeping thing, and every fowl and whatsoever creepeth, upon the earth after their kinds went forth out of the ark. And Noah built an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savour and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more every living thing as I have done. While the earth remaineth seed time and harvest, and cold and heat and summer, and winter and day and night shall not cease. That was very gracious of God, I believe, because God, as we said, was absolutely fed up with the violence that filled this earth in Noah's day. And so he had Noah to build this ark, as we've said. This place of protection. And all those who went into the ark were protected from the judgment of God, which fell upon this whole earth. There was a worldwide flood. Believe it or not, it's true. This whole world had a flood over the whole lot of it. Even Mount Ararat was covered. It's one of the highest, if not the highest, mountain in the world. And we think of the judgment of God which fell upon this earth because of the evil that was in this world. And it's evil because you and I are in it. We're sinners in the sight of God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And yet God has made the way of escape. I want to bring the Lord Jesus Christ to you now because that is what the ark would speak of. That is who the ark would speak of, I should say. The Lord Jesus Christ can be the ark. The one that would hide you. The one that would protect you from the wrath of God. Why? Because he's gone into the wrath of God. He brought the forefront of the wrath of the mighty God against sin upon himself. He is without sin. The only perfect man was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him, so that there is salvation for you today. Your sins can be forgiven in the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord slain before the foundation of the world. We notice here that when Noah came off the ark, he actually built an altar unto the Lord. That which would speak of sacrifice. There was the shedding of blood. And we think of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. The once for all sacrifice, to end all sacrifices. You see, God was just sort of satisfied to a certain degree with the sacrifices of the Old Testament. But you see, they pointed toward the one sacrifice of Jesus Christ. They just reminded God that he was going to send forth his son, born of a woman, born unto the law, to redeem them that were under the law. That we might be made friends to God. We might
to be brought back to God by the sacrifice of Christ. And that's why he died. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Because you and I had gone away from God, we turned our backs on God. And yet, God, in his mercy and in his love, wants you to come back to himself. And it can only take place through the sacrifice of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. So if today you'll understand that you're a sinner, which we all are, there's not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. We're all on our way down to hell, but God doesn't want that. He wants us to be in heaven. And so he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to take the place of all those who will believe upon him, who will trust him as their own personal saviour. You see, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried. But the third point is this. That he rose again the third day according to the scripture. The according to which is written in the Bible, the word of God. We can fully trust what God says in his word. Let God be true, but every man a liar. And so there is salvation available for you this afternoon only in the person of Jesus Christ. Why do I know that? The Word of God says, He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Do you have the Son of God? Have you believed on Him? Have you received Him as your own personal Saviour? He came unto His own, and His own received Him not. But as many as received Him, then gave Him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe. On his name. Will you come in repentance toward God? Acknowledge before God that you're a sinner and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.